All right, Tim, here it is. I'm coming up to my shed that I've been working on here. And it's your typical barn shed. I did have Paul help me side it, which is why I might as well show you right now. That corner is off, and you can tell by the siding that it's off. So, anyway, it's not too bad, but it pisses me off, kind of. Whatever. Anyway, I appreciate Paul's help. He's a good friend. He also loaned me his circular miter saw cutter thing there. And I'll take you through the inside here. Uh, my friend Todd gave me these boards here. They're kind of rotted, but they're not really rotted. They're pretty fresh on the inside and they were cheap. I had to cut and grind some nails out of them. I skimped here on these because those nailing strips are a bugger to work with. I do have a couple of them in here, but mostly I just did it this way. I did it with some improvisation. You know, a lot of these nails here came with the house, so I reused those. Here's one with a nailing strip right there. These things are really hard to work with. I found that a C-clamp can help, but even that's hard. So most of mine just pounded a lot of nails in. Um, before I had Paul's miter saw, I did this one, which is my very worst side because I had to shim it, and that's really bad. It's not really bad. It works fine, but didn't turn out like I planned. The other ones are perfect, so they're pretty close to it. So, anyway, I improvised on this a little bit from how Home Depot had it. You know, this is Todd wood, this is fresh wood, fresh wood. But the Todd wood, I used quite a bit of it, and you can see where I blended it in and stuff, and it is actually pretty good. You know, like I said, here you can tell where I ground some nails away to make it, you know, safe. And here on this roofing thing, you know, these were four foot pieces of uh, plywood, OSB, really cheap stuff, really, really cheap stuff. So I, rather than using four, you know, these are three foot sections here. So I cut a foot off, cut a foot off, cut a foot off, and then I nailed the additional feet together for this piece here, which should be just fine. You know, I'm doing this on a tight shoestring because I did put these little breath, these little things in here, which should have been unnecessary, but but Paul and I did the uh, roof first, you know. So that added a little extra weight. That's not how construction projects go. This wood here is from my neighbors. I pulled it out of their scraps. This I just bought this morning. I've been trimming it off. I've been putting the painter's caulk on all the siding there. So. So materials at Home Depot have gone up a lot in price. Recognize him. And uh, anyway, I haven't sided this part yet. I used a reciprocating saw to cut these corners here. And I need to anchor these here first. See, the, this side came out perfect. These are exactly the same size right here. These are old pieces of lath also pulled out of my neighbor's scrap fire wood and tacked in. This will nail up perfectly here. That's a perfect square on this side because I did this wall before I did the roof, which I know you're supposed to do it. And uh, same thing on this side here. So I've got a really good piece to nail to. This is going to be my ramp to put the lawnmower in. You recognize the old boat. She's going to slide right in here nicely, and I might even put a canopy over it, but probably not. Uh, Anyway, so that's how this looks so far. So I'll give you a couple best side profiles here and what have you. There she is. I just shoveled the yard, so no worries there. And right here, this is basically what the shed is going to look like, except I'm going to paint it. But here's the back of my house with the Bilco door. I don't know what color I'm going to paint the house yet, since I don't have a mortgage to payment to make this month. I did get a quote for a new paint job for 1800 and you probably can't tell from this camera but this house really needs a can of paint and I'm not going up on the ladder to do it myself so anyway this is my scrap wood this is treated so I can't burn it but here is my recent purchase from Walmart it's my chairs and I have my fire pit I have a lot of fires and what have you so Anyway, let me go back now and I'll show you my, uh, I'll show you my accident. Basically, it's back here. 
So, so that branch, that big piece of branch right there, uh, I can't tell if you can see it or not. But uh, anyway, I trimmed it down along with these branches here, and I cut some big ones off the top on this here. But uh, these are the pieces of wood that it generated. This is the log pile from that branch that cut down. This is the branch that hit me and pretty much took me out. It's a pretty good size thickness as you can see. You know, this is not even the base of it. It's probably probably was a good eight, nine inches. So you know, eight, nine inches total. So I've trimmed it up and split a lot of the wood but it would hurt. So once this dries it'll be a lot better. This here is my compost pile. I've been composting. I want to have good soil. There's no reason not to. So that's it. Talk to you later.